Alright folks, so in this video what we're going to do is an unboxing and then we're going to run down the specs and then we're going to do some beam shots for a new flashlight by Olight. This flashlight is the i3T EOS. It's a slim or smaller EDC flashlight. But before we do this video, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back and we'll get started. Okay, hopefully everybody made it back. Before we get started with the video, I did want to say I was contacted by Olight, and they offered to send me this flashlight free of charge in exchange for this video review. I'm a huge fan of Olight. They're a great supporter of the Smoke and Ape channel, and I love their products. So of course I agreed, and here we go with the video review. Okay, the package ships in this modest cardboard box. Let's go ahead and open up and see what's inside. So there's the flashlight. Let's go ahead and pop it out of this container. And it comes with a read me. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that and see what it says. Like most flashlights, especially O lights, what this is telling you is, is that this flashlight ships with a battery inside and it comes with an insulator to make sure that the flashlight does not turn on during transit. On the back of the flashlight we have a user manual, but we don't read user manuals at the Smoke and Ape channel. Okay, let's take a look at this flashlight, open it up and remove that insulator. There it is. And here it ships with what looks to be an alkaline battery. This flashlight runs off of a AAA battery. A couple of things to notice when you take a look at this flashlight. It has a double knurled grip that actually looks pretty handy. It's kind of cool looking too. It has a bi-directional pocket clip here which will allow you to hook this to your pocket or maybe to the bill of the hat. You can do tip up or tip down carry with this. Now when you talk about the name of this flashlight, the i3T, I'm assuming that the 3 means it runs off of a AAA battery and the T mean it means that it has a tail cap selector. There's some traction plan on the back and the tail cap makes a very proud click. Okay, just a quick spec rundown, and I'll go ahead and put this information on the screen and in the comments below. On the high setting, this flashlight's capable of generating 180 lumens for a distance of 60 meters for 21 minutes. When it's low setting, it can generate 5 lumens for a distance of 12 meters for 16 hours. It's drop resistance up to 1.5 meters, and it has a Luexon Phillips LED bulb or emitter. It's IPX8 rating, X, IPX8 rating, I did say that right the first time, which means it can be submerged in water up to about 2 meters deep for about 30 minutes before it has any problems. Uh, the, the, uh, the circumference, or the diameter, I should say, of this flashlight is 0.59 inches. Um, and it weighs, uh, I'm sorry, and the length of it is 3.5 inches. It weighs 1.45 ounces or 41 grams, and that's including a alkaline AAA battery. Okay, let's check the tail cap. When I go ahead and turn this flashlight on, it goes into low mode. The second click will take it to the turbo mode. It also has momentary on where I can just push in a half click and I can get either high or low modes. As I mentioned before, the click is very deliberate and it's loud to let you know that the light has been illuminated. I really like the way that it fills your hand. It's a little bit longer. I did want to compare it quickly to the i3E, which is from Olight. Now this one wasn't sent to me by Olight, but it's the copper version. Um, it's an EDC light that I carry all the time. This flashlight here is noticeably bigger, but there's a couple extra things with it, like the pocket clip, the tail cap. With this flashlight, you can either turn it on by just kind of squeezing the flashlight or twisting the head. Um, I did put this lanyard on here because it just makes it a little bit easier to grip and find in my pocket. I really like this flashlight, but it only has one setting. Okay, next we're going to take this flashlight outside and we're going to do some beam shots. Okay, for some beam shots, what I wanted to do is like I typically do is just come out Take a look around the vehicle. This is on the low setting, and that's pretty good. I'm not 100% sure how well it's coming across, but uh, for five lumens, that's pretty bright. It has a pretty nice cast. Maybe it has something to do with the TIR optic. Let's go ahead and kick it up to high. 
and uh, that's super bright. Uh, very, very floody. Let's get some more shots. So here we are just walking around. Um, the low setting is fine for night walks if you're taking the dog out or something like that. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is I've been needy seeing this flashlight for a couple days. Here it is on bright. And uh, it carries very well in the pocket. I'll roll a picture in right now. Um, and it also attaches pretty well to your Molly clip, uh, Molly attachments on your bag, like an EDC bag or backpack. So here's the high setting with a little bit of distance. Uh, we're kicking out probably about 25, 30 yards. It's really lighting up the whole street. It's actually pretty nice. I can see it's becoming my new EDC flashlight. I really am liking it. Here we go on low, just taking a look around in the grass. Um, it lights it up pretty well. Anyhow, I just wanted to say thanks to Olay for sending this flashlight out. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you like the video.